Hello, viewers. Today, we're unraveling the mystery erythrocene, known as Red No. 3. A synthetic wonder or health concern? Let's find out together. Erythrocene, a term that might seem obscure, but its presence is ubiquitous. This synthetic dye, derived from coal tar, paints our world in shades of cherry pink. But how exactly is it made, and what does it consist of? Let's dive in. From the sweetness of jarred cherries to the allure of cosmetic products, erythrocene leaves its mark. But it's not just about aesthetics. This dye also plays a practical role in dental health, highlighting plaque on teeth. Fascinating, isn't it? Let's get scientific. Erythrocene isn't just a colorant, it's a complex chemical. But what makes it so effective in coloring products? And how does its composition impact its use in various industries? Time for some chemistry. Now, on to the debate. While some praise its coloring prowess and kosher status, others are wary of potential health risks. Animal studies have raised questions about its impact on the thyroid gland and light sensitivity. Let's hear both sides of the story. Around the globe, the stance on erythrocene varies widely. From Australia's evolving policies to the UK's proactive measures, each nation tells a different tale. How does your country deal with this controversial dye? In the maze of food labels, erythrocene makes a frequent appearance. But are we, as consumers, aware of what we're eating? Let's explore how to be more informed and make healthier choices. As we conclude, remember, the power of choice lies in your hands. When you next encounter that vibrant cherry pink pause and ponder, is it erythrocene? Stay curious, stay informed, and most importantly, stay healthy. Thank you for joining us on this colorful journey. If you enjoyed this video, show your support with a like, share your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. Until next time, keep exploring.